What's going on guys, Master Turkey here, back with yet another RPCS3 video, this time a follow up to my Killzone video from several weeks ago. I got several comments and a bunch of thumbs down, people did not like that I applied the FOV patch. Granted that does tank the performance, so this time around we're going to go ahead and leave everything at default, Vulcan, resolution scaling, default, everything's at default, no patches applied. We are just going to see what the maximum FPS can be at and whether or not you're seeing graphical errors, whether or not you should enable right color buffers, that's all up to you feel free to leave it in the comments but basically I just wanted to remove the patches and get as much FPS as possible usually right color buffers or something like that doesn't affect the performance too much but again I really just wanted to leave everything at default I get way too many comments about what your settings are and usually it's more or less really what your computer is 9900k is going to get really good performance it is at the top of the food chain when considering rpcs3 so if you're on a laptop or you know some i5 or something you're not going to see the same performance and again i just prefer to avoid all those comments so i just leave everything at default normally I made the mistake of applying those fov patches and since i applied it to killzone 1 which handles it just fine i wanted to apply it to everything else just like scientific practice practices go you want to apply the same thing to everything and see how it handles it when I do test rpcs3 titles on this channel it's testing it's not to maximize performance you know if you want to do that go see a guide or something like that that maximizes performance usually when I test things I test things how I want to test them at the time and if I'm doing multiple titles in a series I usually leave everything the same so I did get some comments some thumbs down we're gonna go ahead and rectify that by doing this it does take me a while to make videos I have a job and a house to maintain and a dog to take care of so it is what it is it's becoming harder and harder to make videos these days hopefully after I finish my front yard it will be a lot easier so we're not going to show too much of Killzone 1 I'm just gonna put it in this little bit of talking head shit that I have right now and then we'll jump right into Killzone 2 and Killzone 3 now, just as you would expect, removing that FOV patch does improve the performance on Killzone 2 here. Actually looks pretty good and it's getting damn good frame rate. You see the frame rate dips into the teens and 20s at times, but it's not actually that bad. I would say that you could play this and have a good time. Again, I don't know what your system is, but on a 9900K with everything removed and the resolution scaling left at default and using the Vulcan API, this gets pretty close to being playable. Not playable in the sense of the emulator, but playable in the sense that you could enjoy this, even though the aiming and everything else is very clunky for an FPS. Personally, I'd prefer using a mouse and keyboard, but it is what it is. Now, Killzone 3 is significantly better than some of the first times that I tested this and obviously with the FOV patch it does perform a little bit better as well it was already performing pretty well now this this is even more playable in my opinion again do not mistake the word playable for playable in the RPCS3 compatibility I mean that you could play this and have a good time you might even be able to remove some of the graphical issues by messing with the settings but for right now the frame rate sits almost steady at around 30 frames per second you do see it dip in the firefights but again this is looking and feeling really well the feeling itself like when you actually pick up the controller and play this game it feels really good this is getting really close to being playable in the compatibility sense and you can probably play through this and have a good time however i will say that at the end of this play session for me it did crash to the desktop so it's not going to be perfect it is emulation the emulation is in progress so the emulator still has quite a bit of work to do when it comes to these titles but this again is a follow-up video to the previous video that i did i just wanted to show you that if you left everything at default and remove the patches you can get much better frame rate so anyways guys that's going to do it for today's video thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe cheers